Welcome to another exciting episode of the Talking Beards podcast. Our guest today is Anthony Cardi talking about the 2021 West Coast Classic online beard competition. This competition continues to support the Larkin Street Youth Services and all the support will do wonders to help them to end youth homelessness. So make sure you guys tune in to this great episode of Talking Beards, the podcast. Don't forget to go over to TalkingBeards.com to find out more about the show. So why don't you go share the show with your friends and go listen to this great episode right, 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 meow. Welcome to the Talking Beards podcast, an entertainment news show all about the world of facial hair. You can catch the show live every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern by going to TalkingBeards.com. While you're at the website, you can check out all the other cool things that we do. We cover the latest news going on in the beard and mustache world from competitions, contests, fundraisers, and all the charity work. We also have special guests each week talking about what they're doing to make a difference in the facial hair world. We also do trivia each week with really great prizes, compliments of Honest Amish. So make sure you tune in every Tuesday night, 8 p.m. at TalkingBeards.com. Now let's get on with the show. Someone loves it already. And it's not your mom. It's Someone. definitely not Matt McClear's mom because she hates beards. She hates us. Yeah, definitely. She was like, those boys are bad influence on you, Matt McClear. It's like, Matthew? Oh, yeah, Matthew. Definitely. Get your Matthew. head out of your dupa. <laughs> Matthew Donald McClear, stop hanging out with those talking beards guys. That's what, that's they're, what. they're doing nothing but making you go down the dark road of drugs and alcohols. <laughs> And energy drinks. <laughs> Before you were hanging out with those guys, you didn't even drink any Miller Lite. You I was like water and protein shakes. I dude, I totally nailed Martha McClear so beautifully. Wow, you you nailed Matt's mom. <laughs> wait, wait, That's not what I mean. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I meant <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> My impersonation of Martha McClear, that is. That's, uh, yeah, okay. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, wow, that started what off rough. What the hell was that? <laughs> Sorry, Martha. I didn't Poor want to. Martha. What is going on, everybody, in Talking Beards land? Uh, buckle up. This could be a doozy of a show tonight. So this is episode number 103 of the live show. Uh, episode number 178 of the podcast. Uh, I am Aaron D. Johnston, and yeah, I'm here. You know, you can find me on all the social medias as per usual, but you know, if you're here, you probably know where I'm at. So go ahead, Scott. And I am Scott Sakura. Uh, you can find me all over social media at Scott Sakura. <laughs> but no, I am not uh, Matt McClear's dad. Um, not to be <gasps> mistaken. <Butt -nuggled. laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. McClear. <laughs> Matt's liking all this. He's laughing back there, but uh, <laughs> I'm glad <laughs> we got to get Martha on here. You hey, up. Tuesday, Angela. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, you can find us over at talkingbeards.com, which is actually where we'd like you to go check out the show. But we are streaming live on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Periscope, over at Beard Team USA Facebook, uh, Honest Amish Facebook, amongst my page and Aaron's Facebook page. So you can catch us in all these different places tonight. But if you don't like going on social media and you still want to watch the show, all you have to do is go over to TalkingBeards.com. You can watch the show live over there. But if you want to interact, you either have to go to YouTube or Facebook or Twitch to interact live with the show and the other participants in the chat room. And also, with that being said, um, if you are commenting on Facebook and you, and, and you don't think your comments are showing up, just go to Talk and Beards Facebook page, and that'll be that page for sure works with the comments. So just putting that out there for everybody. If uh, you know you're commenting and we're not seeing it, just go to Talk and Beards Facebook page. That one for sure works. That one does for sure work. I've I've reconnected Aaron twice, and I don't think it's working still. So um, yeah. So uh, with all that being said, 
um, we have done this thing a couple times, and we're going to do it again. So, um, OriginalPoopKnife.com, if you share this episode, oh, here we go. If you share this episode the most amount of times, you will also win a poop knife. So, uh, last week's winner was Brandon Bordelon, and uh, yeah, he shared it like 9,000 times. Um, and the week before that was uh, Corey the Ghost. He shared it a bunch. So share it everywhere. Even if it's not beer related, just share it. Who cares? Just get us out there. Let everybody see uh, Scott's pretty face mostly and just share share the heck out of it. You don't have to share it on BS Buds Beer Bulletin Board because, you know, that's yeah. us. But, you know, you can if you want. That's it. Oh, my gosh. It's Matt McClear. Oh, I thought we were holding up poop knives. We, we are holding up poop knives. Oh, you guys, you guys get tired holding yours up with, with all the share stuff. Sure. Yeah, it's a real thing. These things are heavy. They're dense. They are. You know, never mistaken yeah. for a uh, box opener again, though. It, I mean, you could definitely open a box with it. <laughs> yeah, you, you could. maybe open a box of biscuits, a box of mixed biscuits, a mixed box of biscuits, a box of mixed biscuits, a mixed box of biscuits, and a biscuit mixer. Wow, that was that was extra. That, that was, was like extra. a remix. Well, I don't know what to say. Yes. Yes, there's you could. No, there's nothing to say, Matt. No, there's, yeah. there's nothing. There's nothing. What's up, guys? Oh, stop talking. There's nothing to say. Oh, you're a freaking idiot. Speaking of nothing to say. <laughs> oh, howdy, y'all. It's Dylan Maxwell House. Did you know that his family owns Maxwell House Coffee? He's actually a billionaire, and he's watching Talking Beards. Can Spe you believe it? Speaking of Maxwell House... Drewy Decimal System McNaughton's here. <laughs> Drewy Decimal System. <laughs> <laughs> did you know he's the world's tallest librarian? No, I did not, but thank you for sharing that. Carrie's here. Wow. Oh, Carrie. Oh, bow and arrow. Carrie bow and arrow is how you how say it. How is that uh, unicycle riding going? What are we at, 20-some days now? Yeah, he's, he's, he's riding it now. Look at this. Speaking of Carrie, he is the owner of the Grooming Emporium. And not to be confused with the Grooming Aquarium, which yeah, is not the Grooming Aquarium. That's you know those totally like different. really modified smooth fish. Yeah, um, <laughs> but yeah, you, all the boxes will have Grooming Emporium stickers in it now. So nice. There you go. Thank you, Carrie. Thanks. What's Carrie. up, McClure? Not much. Not much. I got some talking beers news. You guys want to hear it? Boy, do we. Oh, okay, cool, because I was going to say it anyways. But uh, yeah, I'm Matt, and this is your Talking Beer News, brought to you by Beard Loss. Not only am I the news guy these days, but I also double as the HR guy. So I'm here today with another opportunity for anybody looking for a job. You can now get paid to be a slipper tester. And here's how to apply. You go to Nightwear <laughs> Company, Bedroom Athletics, and they're on the lookout for a dedicated slipper lover to review their products, and it's the perfect job for a life in lockdown. If the thought of wearing slippers all day uh, gets you excited. We have a job that could be right up your street. A nightwear company is looking for a man and a woman to be the official slipper testers to try out its latest designs. And they're paying a lucky candidate 40,000 squigglies, which I'm guessing is euros, uh, for the opportunity. It's the dream. Bedroom Athletics says the role is the Cinderella of the job market and is for the me. perfect lockdown job for anyone who spends a lot of time at home, from a student to a part-time worker or a stay-at-home parent. So how do you apply for this exciting new role? Well, the first thing you'll need to do is head over to Bedroom Athletics' website and say why you're the per perfect person for the job. Candidates must be able to wear slippers for at least 12 hours a day for two days of the month to test out and give extensive feedback on all things slippers, loungewear, and home. Homeware. So be the Cinderella of the job market and stink up those slippers today and get paid to do it. So how about we have them email you? What's your email? Where can we just so you can direct them to it so you can send them a link to it. Make uh, it easy. Super easy. Okay. Uh, stupid scoot at beardlaws.com. Wow. That's a that's that's pretty close oh. to Scott's email address. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's my own though because it's beardlaws.com. So I was just something that I made up. Yeah, but you can email me right there. It's where I have all the spam sent because I love spam with Oreos and mayonnaise. Do I still sound muffled, Brett? I don't know. But all right, Matt, let's talk about this other article you uh, sent to me yeah, earlier. Yeah, in other news, a mom did what many moms try to do, bake their child a cake for their birthday. Peppa Pig cake? Phew, no problem, right? 
Well, someone had a not so good attempt mm -hmm. at it. Well, Peppa Pig became something else. The popular pig looks easy to replicate on paper with simple details and clean lines, meaning even the most inexperienced bakers can give it a go. But the mom was left regretting her decision after she shared the final results on Facebook. It went viral, where other people couldn't help compare it to something a little bit more inappropriate. Peppa Pig? Why do you the, look like that? The post quickly went viral as the cake creation is now labeled Pecker Pig. With <laughs> one person commenting simply... Oh, honey, no. Sometimes it's just better to bring back the classic round or square cake for birthdays, and this is more proof why. I like it. I mean, it's not terrible. It could it could double as a bachelorette party pig cake. I fixed it, Brett. Thank you. You fixed it. I'm proud you of you. Fixed it. I did. Nice work. Thanks. I'm uh I'm basically like an IT guy these days, you know. Pretty much, pretty much. Uh, as long as you're not going into being a baker, then I think you'll be okay. You could just be a candlestick maker. I mean, oh. I I like this. Natalie's going to make me this cake. No, I oh. She okay. should make it just like your Christmas tree cakes. <laughs> yeah. Hey, idea. speaking of, there, there's a company in Paducah, Kentucky that uh, it's like a bakery. Watch that your mouth. Makes yeah, come on. This is a family-friendly show. What? You Paducah. Yeah, you Paducah. That's You're where I was Paducah. born. You freaking back off. You were uh, born thank, in Paducah? I was born in Paducah, Kentucky. Yeah. So um it makes sense. <laughs> I hate you guys. I'm trying to say something important. Oh um, okay. they have a whole line of stuff that they make out of uh these amazing Christmas trees. Like they make cupcakes and cakes and ice cream and slushies. Thank Aaron. you. I just what? want to let you know anyone can have a line. I also I have one. <laughs> you know what? Shut up. Hey, so a, a segue that I set out for myself, but I got distracted. Speaking of IT, man, Matt McClear, you and uh, that other IT, IT guy sure did look good last night. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Thank you. Uh, was it Bluegrass uh, Bearded? Yep, yep. Yeah, he uh, he's got a great show. Super thankful for it, and um, yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I didn't get the memo. I just have no. coffee. But uh, we yeah. drink NASCAR jet fuel now. Woo! Right, you wonder know, why you're able to rhyme like that. Not only do you get rowdy, but you get rhyming in rowdy. Double R. <laughs> <laughs> Drewy Decimal needs a Paducah knife. Everybody yeah, needs great, a Paducah. Great now. show last night, and maybe you'll even see some of these familiar faces on it eventually. Never know, but yeah, it was it was cool. I'm glad you posted about it, and I, I went, I watched your entire episode, and I, I checked out some of his other stuff, and that was that was pretty cool. You you did a real good job last night. Thank you, thank you, yeah. thank you. I um yeah, it was a lot of fun. He does a really good job. Super thankful, and he partnered up with Copper John Beard Company and gave some great oils and some products. I mean, I don't know what that is, but everything else sounded yeah. really good. All the up until that, yep. Yeah, all yeah. up until you mentioned that, you know, inferior product. But, you know, it's other true. than that, it was really good. It's very true. But I did tell them that I put the best mustache wax in my mustache. I did hear. Honest Thomas. Got my own. So uh, what do you have going on tonight for TikTok Tuesday? Triple T. Another, uh, just another fun, free-flowing, crazy, controlled chaos is like we we like to call it. And is just it controlled? Know, uh, Ah uh, no, but it's chaos. <laughs> if you say controlled chaos, then I think more people will be apt to come. But uh, we're gonna go back to our roots a little bit more and show some more videos of nice. kind of just some funny. Uh, he says hello, Nick. Uh, we're just yeah, gonna show cool. some more funny videos, react to it, and uh, there's somebody that's gonna be on the show for the first time tonight. So uh, if you guys want to see who that person is, come on, uh, come on over at uh, whenever this show's done. Is it me? Am I on it? Uh, you you guys are welcome anytime. But uh, is it Martha? Is it Martha? No, it's not Martha. Martha, Martha, Martha. Martha. Yeah, so, uh, Beard Law's number one fan, Nick H, is here. Yeah. Lee BMG is here. What's up, Come Lee? On. What's up, I'll Chris? Start. Chris Fortune is here. He's rich. Chris he Fortuna, cool. He's here. His he family owns the fortune cookies, right? Absolutely. Yep. He He's actually the one that originally started putting the paper in there nice. before they were putting, uh, you know, Christmas tree cakes in there, and it just didn't work out. Yeah, it's not as profitable. Not at all. So uh, what's going on for uh, Beard Laws, the hot number two show on Talking Beards Network? I don't know. 
I don't know what I was, where <laughs> I was, I was wondering where that going. I was Me waiting either. for like, <laughs> I was thinking like number two, you know, like poop, but yeah, and then, I was, whew, I was okay. waiting for it. But uh, yeah, anyway. this is 9 p.m. We uh, we have Chef Brian Duffy from the Food Network who's going to be joining us. Are you, and, uh, are you freaking Duffy? kidding me? Yeah, hey, this is this is uh, this is no Paducah. This is uh, <laughs> Chef Boy RD will be on the show. Yeah, I'm uh, super excited. He's been on Bar Rescue, and he's got his own couple of shows on the uh, Food Network. So he's uh, he's looking pretty good with his beer. He started growing it out, and uh, it's looking good. So we're gonna give him a little bit of uh, some rasin and some maybe beer advice. I don't really know what we're gonna do yet, but uh, we'll write that up Thursday morning because we're super prepared here at Beer. Just Boss. just push freaking uh, Honest Amish on him. That's, okay. that's all you gotta do. That's that's what I would do. True. Okay. Deal. We'll do that. We'll put some honest homage, some poop knives, and uh, we're going to be giving away some hot sauce from Hellfire Hot Sauce. Sweet. Am I allowed to say that on the show? Are you? Yeah, that's fine. Are you? Okay, are cool. you pushing hot sauce because he's a, a chef? Mm-hmm. Wow, it's like yep. you try to give away things that coordinate with your guests. Yeah, yeah. See what I did there? This stuff looks <laughs> super hot. I'm, I'm, we're not going to try this, but I think there's like four bottles. So uh, it'll be cool. Somebody will win it, and then somebody will have uh, no need for a poop knife when that comes out. I think you should chug one of the bottles. It's not going to happen. Come on, Matt. No, I'd end up in a hospital like certain people that sniff uh, Gorilla Glue. Not oh, my gosh. Either. Who would drink Gorilla Glue? I right? mean, what kind of moron does that? Oh, Everybody no, knows no. you're not supposed to do that. No. Speaking no. of morons that sniff Gorilla Glue, look at this thing. Hold on. Let me make myself. Look at this shirt. Ooh. Talk, oh, oh, it's backwards. Talking Beards Network, made by Sean Glander himself. So, oh, yeah. if you are part of the Talking Beards Network, watch your mailboxes. Just stand I'm, there. That's all I'm saying. That's all I I'm saying. I gotta, I gotta go check the mailbox. I mean, maybe not like right now, but oh. you know. Oh, if it's if it's on your time, I'll check it by summer. Exactly. There you go. You got it. Gotcha. All right, Matt McClear. Uh. We greatly appreciate your news segments as usual and uh, always informative and very, you know, good. And, and we learned about Peppa Pig and, and all yeah. the good things. And maybe so, somebody will get a job wearing slippers. Or, or maybe someone will get a job making Peppa Pig cakes. That's what I'm most interested in. So, yeah, thank you, Matt. And uh, do you have any parting words? Yeah, actually. All right. He didn't have anything to say. <laughs> huh. Now what, Scott? All right. So uh, we were doing a little PSA for today. Um, <clears throat> I don't really know how to like lead into this. Um, Aaron seems to be a little bit more of an expert on this topic. So I will pass it over to him. I'm, I'm getting passed. So... Um, where do we start? So I'm I'm going to try not to ramble too much. It's going to be one of those things. So about 11 months ago, I think we did one of these that, you know, I felt like I rambled for about 15 minutes and I was like, I need to just shut up. So, yeah. So one of those kind of sort of important, I don't know, serious topics going on in the beard community right now. Uh, online beard competitions. Um, there was a, vi a viral, there was a video that circled around the beard community the past couple of days of, uh, someone getting their award for nationals and setting it on fire. Um, apparently that person wasn't too thrilled with the whole online competition thing. And I talked to them and they were, they, they said that it wasn't necessarily just online competitions in general, but they kind of felt <clears throat> that like nationals shouldn't have been online. It was more prestigious of an event than to be an online competition. But anyway, um, with that being said, a lot of people were posted on there and there just seemed to be a lot of people that, you know, you know, echoed his his idea of online competitions kind of being stupid. Um, but I mean, I agree. It's not nearly as good as being a live beer competition, but that's what we got right now, everybody. And uh, if it wasn't, go ahead. I'd like to preface this now. Yeah. I, we're we're giving everyone a chance to have a fair opinion on how they feel and kind of voice what they're saying. We're not saying one side's right, one side just like oh, absolutely the, rest of the world right now because it's a, there's enough of that going on where there's just way too many pissed off people, angry people. This is just you know, everyone. We, we like to give everyone a voice 
on, you know, something that's important to them, or if they're feeling something about the community, this, I mean, they can come here and talk to us, or they can come and talk to the community. So we're not bashing on anyone. No, not, not at all. No, nobody's bashing on yeah. anybody, but you know, it's, it's, like I said, it's what we have, you know, um, if it wasn't for these online competitions, we, what would we be as a beer community right now? You know what I mean? Like, well, we, we had like four, five, 10, maybe competitions total last year. We had probably a hundred the year before. Um, it's, it's going to be one of the only things that's going to hold the beard community together until we can get back to normal. Um, talking beards and the whole talking beards network team. We're trying our best to keep, you know, everybody in communication and everybody, you know, talking and stuff like that. But, you know, battling back and forth. I mean, that that's, that's not really going to do any, anybody any good. And that was one of the things that I, I really, really liked about the beer community when I first got into it was no one even knew what anybody did for a living. And now everybody knows everything about everybody. And maybe we need to get back to not knowing each other and just meeting up at beer competitions. Anyway, I don't know if, even if you do not like online beer competitions, like I've already said multiple times, it's what we have. And, and, if you don't want to participate in the online competitions, don't forget 11 months ago, we had this exact same conversation. Beer competitions at the end of the day are a charity fundraiser. That's what they're for. They're fun. And if you're not having fun doing the online thing, I get it. I don't really like doing the online thing because it's, it's just not the same, but it doesn't mean that you can't still participate in some way. Um, we we've talked about it before, you know, you, you spend, couple hundred dollars going to a beer competition and to what donate 20 bucks why can't you still just donate to the the charity cause yeah or, and you're, and you're ultimately saving yourself money because you're not spending gas you're not buying a hotel that's right i mean yeah. like like we said you know it's it's all charity fundraisers and online stuff's not for everybody even if you don't have the money i get it covid freaking beat the crap out of everybody a lot of people lost their jobs and people just don't have the money as they did that doesn't necessarily mean if you don't love the beard community like i absolutely do i know scott does if if you love this community and you want it to be still together when when we do get to see each other and hug each other share the event you know uh, invite some people you you might not want to participate you might not have the extra five ten bucks to donate to the charity which Remember, that's what all this is for at the end of the day. It's not for ribbons. It's not for trophies. It's for helping out the charity. And that's the plus. You you get to compete and you get to beat your friends. That's fun. But, you know, it, it's a charity fundraiser. Don't forget that. That's what these are for. We can't meet in person. That's just you can't. We lost our venue for Holy City. I don't even know if we can have a competition this year. Yeah, I mean, Definitely things have changed because That's of it. And we're in a completely world. different time. Kids are going to school online. I mean, how freaking weird is that? You know, that's, um, that's very weird, Aaron. Every Everything's weird right now. So, yeah, t- online competitions are weird. And a lot of the OG beard people, they're not going to want to compete in these because they're so used to being on stage and stuff like that. And I get it. But yeah, don't forget it. what this is actually for. They're still online charity fundraisers for these nonprofits or, you know, Anthony's stuff out in, in San Francisco. You know, they they're still trying to raise money for a good cause. And just because we're not doing it on stage, do, it, it it's still good. We're yeah. still raising I mean, money. We're just not doing it normal. It's it's kind of like as it's always been. It's been a uh, a charity fundraiser guised as a beard competition. I mean, that's pretty that's right. much what it is. It, it, it gives it a, a purpose and a reason to get together other than the charity. As it's drifted to online, it's the same thing, but it's mm-hmm. almost kind of, I feel, in a slight way where it's become more of a, it's an online beard competition. It's not like an online charity event, you know? Right, but I mean, I, it's, it's it's still a charity event. But. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, just like Ethan says here, people take themselves way too seriously you don't need competitions to donate money or to do community services. And this That's is right. true. This is just the way, I mean, as the beer community, it's the way we, we have done it. Do it. Yeah. yeah. But, and, and yeah, I mean, just like uh, someone wrote here, uh, yeah, n- nationals did give it a charity. They raised uh, $7,800 uh, for they, direct relief. 
Yeah, for direct relief. I think and there do, might be they, more. You know, you yeah. never know. Like that was just the initial number. They they may you know crunch some numbers off of t-shirt sales or whatever, and and that number may go up, but you never know. Yeah, but I mean, everyone's raising money, and th- that's the whole point. Is we're just getting together to raise money, just like with you know having Anthony on today and supporting his event. You know, we had Anthony on a year ago when he was doing his competition last year and helping him try to raise awareness for, you know, the charity that he was working for, which he's also working with again that we're going to hear about in a little bit when we have him on. But it's 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 no different. It's online. Other than that, that's the only difference. It's, it's one of the things that that I want to want to kind of think about is, like I said, the OG people, they're not going to want to compete in a lot of these events not all of them but some of them um but think about all the new people that are finding beer competitions online you know they're they're new to the whole beer world like i know we shared to a bunch of new people all these competitions nationals reached a massive level of new people like they reached out to different communities and got people involved that's never done beer competitions before so think about what that's going to do for the the real you know the normal beard world once we get back all these <laughs> online people, they're going to want to come do real comps. Yeah. I know we've had that conversation with Matt McClear a bunch of times. Dude did like 11 or 12 online competitions. He can't wait to do a live event. And I know he's not alone. Well, it's just like the beard mob community. It's Dude. yeah, they've been sprinkled in the, in the competitive community. But now since this whole online thing is they've just grown massively over this past Blew year. up. And, you know, the the beard mob has definitely grown humongous and, you know, just like one of those like satellite kind of beard clubs, like the villains or the sinners, uh, any one of those. I mean, they're, they're still out there doing stuff, but as in like, for instance, like the bearded sinners, they're, they're more of a community based type of charity driven mm-hmm. club that that's what they do. They, they're, they compete from time to time. That's not what they do. They're, they're just a bunch of bearded guys who do things and they get together. We are a bunch of bearded guys who use our beards to throw charity events, to raise money. That's how we do it. Every group has a different way of doing it. We're just trying to introduce new people into a fun, different aspect of how to raise money or do charity events. You know, this is just how we do it. Not everyone's going to like it. And, you know, well, I mean, like like we said, you know, the, we're not living in a normal world right now, and everybody is doing their best to just keep this beer community alive that I know so many of us love dearly, and we don't want to see it go away. If we weren't doing these online competitions, if we weren't doing these online shows, you know, look at social media traffic. Look at all the, you know, the city-based beard clubs. Nobody's doing anything. Nobody's even posting on social media. Derby City should be having their competition in like a week. They haven't, you haven't even seen anything from them since like April. You know, if they're not doing an online competition, the, everybody has just been completely social media silent. I'm sure some clubs are still posting stuff, but at the end of the day, I mean, some clubs don't even exist anymore. Some of the really big clubs when I first got in, I mean, Hampton Roads was one of the biggest, coolest clubs I thought. And they, I don't even think they exist anymore. I mean, Maybe they will. Maybe they'll come back together, regroup or whatever. And I know Beards of the Old Northwest, they were one of the most prominent, biggest. You you couldn't go to a competition without hearing that chant. And I don't. Yeah, there's nothing even, going on right now at all. Yeah, everything, everything's weird right now. And if this is what we have as a community, I think even if we think it's silly or weird being online, like I said, if you don't want to compete, I get it. But. Still let's, reach out, help out, you know, be a part of this community. Okay. That being said, Aaron, let's bring in Anthony and we That's can. That's what I was about to say. Hold on. Tie, we can tie him into I this am. whole Hold thing. On. Hold get, on. I got it. I, I already thought about it. So right. I wrote it down. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, dang. Yeah. Yeah. They are silly. And, but think about this online competitions are very important. Speaking of online competitions, see. Our, our guest is having an online competition himself. He is going to put together the uh, second annual West Coast Classic presented by the one and only Talking Beards. So here he is, Mr. Anthony Cardi. Jen, Jenny's brother. Do you know Jenny McCarthy? No. 
<laughs> wow, your enthusiasm level was just yeah. like, oh, oh, oh. Wow. <laughs> What's up, Anthony McCarthy? How are you doing, sir? Peachy. That's, that's, a, tough, that's a tough lead in. You guys are talking about uh, important things. Uh, I don't know. It just oh, felt like. I, I felt like it, you know, it, it, it needed to be said and you're doing an online competition. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I get the, the struggles with people also with uh, competing in online competitions when they're used to it in person. But, but like you guys said, it's uh, opened up the uh, community in a sense. So, well, like, and the, uh, thing, the thing is, Anthony, is last year you had your first competition and it was in-person competition. This mm-hmm. year you're doing your second one and it's an online competition. So you're getting a little kind of different perspective than someone else that's been throwing comp like even for Aaron and I, we've granted Aaron and I have thrown competitions individually ourselves, but we've only done the world of online competitions together. It's, Whereas it's you, you're doing yours in the real world last year. Now you're, you're evolving to the online world. I mean, you're, you're just doing what everyone else is doing. You're making the best of a, a shitty situation. Yeah, it's it's definitely different planning. It's, it's similar planning, but at the same time, it's much different because now we we're trying to think of different ways that we can make money to for the charity even more so than just the because you know in online not online as opposed to in person we'd be doing like uh, raffle tables and fifty fifty raffles or w- last year we had uh, cups set up at, on stage for every competitor and so people would come up and vote on their their favorite when uh, they're on stage. That's so cool. it'd be like a charity champion. We can't do that this year, obviously. Or maybe we could by doing a... Oh, you can. You can. Oh, do we can. We'll now. talk to you about that one. Oh, all right. Yeah. So now what we're doing is, uh, you know, selling points. Oh, I've, I've got a question for you. Yeah. What's what's Frubies? What's going on here? <laughs> Why is everybody <laughs> saying like, that? Uh, it's because I troll the Beard Bob show every whatever day that is of the week that they're on. Wednesdays. Wednesday. And... Uh, I'll, I'll pop in for time to time and just say, Frubies or I'm out. And then, <laughs> then, they, then they talk about it for like a second. What the heck's Frubies? It's uh, frogs with boobs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, there he's we from, uh, Fontenot's from Louisiana. I figure they, they got tons of Frubies down there and they eat Absolutely. their legs. Absolutely. That's crawl crawl dance they have grown down there is Frubies. Frubies. I bet, I bet Fontenot, Buffon, uh, motorboats them Frubies. <laughs> oh, he definitely does. Yeah. You can tell. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, so back on track. You were holding up the the best in show. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, it's oh yeah. So we're just thinking of different ways to raise money for the said charity, which this year is once again Larkin Street Youth Services, which is a local nonprofit that is aimed to end youth homelessness, which has always been a major problem in the Bay Area. So, yeah. So oh yeah. So this is the art. This is the best in show prize. Look at that a- thing. I like that you're just coming out guns a blazing. Here's the best in show. This is what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. a one, it's a one of a kind resin print from the artist, signed by artist, one of one. Uh, that'll be the best in show prize. But we're selling prints of this. Uh, artist signed prints for seventy five. Artist formerly known as Prince. No, 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 no. Prince yeah, by the artist. Yeah. Oh, sorry. And Print, we got a vent- formerly known as the artist. Dyslexic hearing, Aaron. Dyslexic right. hearing. And so we how, got, uh, how would uh, posters as well? Where's so where's the posters listed? Anthony? Uh, well, we're just doing it all through our PayPal, beardsbythebay at gmail.com. Uh, so 75 plus shipping. We, we, we predicted it'd be about 10 bucks in the United States because we had to buy the tube and mm-hmm. uh, then ship it from there. So so say 85 for a print, which is actually cheap for an artist print because the cheapest every artist I know that sells their prints is for 100 generally. But he, he, did, he did it pro bono for the charity. He's a local San Francisco artist, Calamity Fair. Pretty dope. Uh, do you have any information about your charity that you're raising money for? Larkin Street Youth Services? Yeah. W- what's up with uh, Larkin Street? Well, yeah. So what they do is they get the kids to come in, provide them with clothes. They give them jobs. Uh, so Generally, at first, it's like cleaning up the streets and whatnot because a lot of kids don't have a, a resume of any sort. So they'll give them different jobs, get them signed up and uh, get them a, a resume going and they try to get them clothes and, and eventually try to get them homes to live in. So it's an ongoing process. They also want, they also have like a drug rehab rehabilitation because a lot of people on the streets are generally uh, not, not, I don't want to like generalize, but a lot of people are on drugs. So right. I mean, that's clean, kind clean. of what happens. You spend all your money on drugs and you lose your house. So you got to, and then, or also a lot of the times in the Bay area, they have unaccepting parents of, with their partners or right. their sexual orientation. So they end up on the streets for those reasons also. So it's not just drugs or anything like that, right. but 
But yeah, so they, they basically try to help clean up the lives of the youth and get them off the, the street and successful in life. So it's a very great charity, I think. And I, I, I've got facilities, and, so, and I know they're legit. So I do you ever do, do, legit. do you ever do any work with them outside of the competition? No, it's just basically the, the competition so far. Cool. They, they keep, they, I, I'm in their mailer list, so they, they always are keeping me up to date on different things. Like uh, before COVID came down, they, they, they tried to invite us out to do uh, raise money for them for like one of those walks. Mm-hmm. And stuff like that. I have a team that will walk, but That's obviously cool. that didn't happen. But yeah, so we're always in the loop with them. So once the COVID is done with, I'm sure we'll be doing a lot more for them. How is that going out there in San Francisco? Are y'all still all completely locked down with COVID or? Yeah, yeah. My my night job is no no clue when that's going to open back up again. Sucks. It's a it's it's indefinite lockdown right now. Damn. Yeah. My my uh, what are we called? The I, I work at a grocery store also during the day. So you're essential. Yeah, essential worker jobs. Yeah, those are still open. Good. <laughs> well, I mean, at least you're still still working a little bit yeah. at least. Well, if if nothing else, I'm I'm working my ass off for this competition right now too. So. Heck yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's an all day job really. That's right. Well, at least you got plenty of time to do it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. See? My goal, my goal is to hit uh, at least a hundred competitors, different competitors. Like uh, oh. we're we're letting people do multiple categories if they want to, but I want mm-hmm. hundred different competitors. That's my that's my goal. You know and how close you are to that hundred? Well, right now we're at thirty nine. Okay. Well, everybody, uh, every, I, there's thirty two people watching right now. If you have yeah. not already registered, you should uh, go to what Beards on the Bay page yeah, Beards, or Beards by the Bay. It's a Facebook, Facebook Beards, com over there by the way. Yeah. yeah so. <laughs> well, I know a lot of people wait till the last minute also, and I get it. Well, but uh, if you it's, sign up now, if you sign up now with a certain donation amount, which you can donate whatever you want for one, because we know times are tough. Uh, we're doing a, a sign up bonuses until the end of the week. This is sort of like to get people to sign up early. Two thousand dollars sign on bonus. That's a pretty yeah. good Goodness deal. Gracious. That's but, truck drivers get did that. I, did I say two thousand dollars? Yeah, you did. <laughs> just take it away from the charity. That's it. Oh, <laughs> we no, like, just straight out of your pocket. We'll just give them a dollar check. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but we got a hundred people. Here's your dollar. Yeah. Yeah. So if uh, if you donate 15 bucks, we'll give you, uh, this is all club merch, basically stickers, uh, $30 will give you a patch and entrance into the competition. $50 will give you a challenge coin. And if you do 75 or more, we'll send you all of them. So sweet. That's through this weekend. Because this weekend is when I release the code word that you'll put into your video. What day are you releasing the code word? Saturday. Saturday, so, you're releasing the code word, and then do people go ahead and post their video, or do they wait to post? Well, their video? No, you're gonna you're gonna want to wait until day of competition. We have the time set up on the event page on Facebook.com/slash Beards by the Bay, and yeah, so we'll do it like a lot of other online competitions are doing. So like say ten o'clock in the morning, it'll right. be kids category. There'll be a post. You comment on it with your 30 second video saying the code word, saying your name. And if it's a length category, add some pictures or in your video, show a ruler or the, next to the ruler whatever. up there. That makes sense. Yeah. <clears throat> so um, for the West Coast Classic, have you already chose your uh, judges? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The judges. We definitely do have those. We have a uh, last year's uh, best in show winner. Jesus, I need a. Write it all down. Oh, I got it right here. Is the password going to be Fruby? <laughs> <laughs> that, would, that would be uh, pretty funny. <laughs> Let's see. So I just want to make sure I'm like pronouncing all the last names correctly. It's fine. You can pronounce their names however you want. That's the way we usually do things on here. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank, though. And, I, and I'm friends with everybody. <laughs> it happens. So it for happens. the partial category uh, is... You know, your partial category judge. Uh, do you think one of your judges might be Eric Brooks? Yeah, that's that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty good, uh, you know, being the only person at Nationals to get a perfect score. Did yeah, you- oh, yeah, I was telling you this the other day. Yeah, yeah. So Eric Brooks is our partial beard. Uh, he's, uh, yeah, he's exceptional. He's Eric that, Brooks. That, no, no <laughs> offense to Drew, but, uh, but Brooks was my favorite from Nationals, but I'm sort of biased towards the creatives. Uh, so the the Whiskerina judge is Dana Turner, which was our best in show last year. This. Uh, 
<laughs> we have Bill, <laughs> our freestyle judge. What's this? What did he say? It, it oh, said. It said you're on Aaron's show. Correct punctuation does not matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, he's got a point. How about correct I, pronunciation, Aaron? Uh, <laughs> see, I'm <laughs> stupid. <laughs> you are stupid. Whatever words. Yeah, we got our, I'm not a freaking librarian. Dylan Scott's our freestyle judge. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. Mm -mm. Mm. No, it's your, your loss. Yeah, uh, it must be. <laughs> yeah, He's he has Arizona. a nice beard. I bet though. Yeah. Hey man, nice beard. Yeah. Uh, that's a plug. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Tomb again from uh, Los Angeles. It's our full beard. He's a. Uh, I think he's with national championship also for. Uh, was it groom beard? Groom beard. Oh. Yeah. Absolutely. And our, our our biggest name on the judging panel is four time consecutively and reigning world champion in English mustache is uh Patrick Fetty. Mm. I don't think I ever heard of him either. That's is he related to Fetty Wap? Probably not. I bet he is. Just distant cousins. His so where where do you think Patrick uh Fetty lives? Somewhere near core. Hold on, I want to hear it. Where do you think he lives? Do you know, Anthony? Louisville. Louisville. It's Louisville. Louisville. <laughs> I was just curious the way you were going to say it. Did That's you know what Patrick's it. dad's name is? Probably Patrick. Cor. Yeah. Corfet. <laughs> Corfet. <laughs> Corfetti. Corfetti. Yeah. I don't get it. It's the type of car Aaron drives. Oh my god! Oh, yeah, I, I drive a Corfet. I sure do. It wasn't like, my dad joke book i got <laughs> it's like the corvette from wish the corvette <laughs> Do people really buy dad joke books uh, apparently scott does one. i didn't buy it for myself <laughs> but you're the one reading it but i am the one reading it though yeah. where, where, where are you located ohio <laughs> ohio how did that speaking of ohio how'd that go last night scott i have no idea the browns won that's all that matters the browns did win but ohio did not I don't I college football's stupid. You're stupid. Roll tide, Aaron. Roll tide, Roll tide. baby. That the was only, awesome. The, the only people who love college football are those who live nowhere near a pro football team, Aaron. Yeah, Aaron. <laughs> or all of the South. <laughs> we have pro teams down here. Just, they're not few. in your state. Uh the Carolina Panthers practice facilities in South Carolina. No, doesn't count. It counts. Totally no. counts. Whatever, well, you're stupid. But <laughs> you don't even like the 49ers. You live in San Francisco. What's up with that? I like the Raiders. They don't. Even, they're in Las Vegas now. Yeah, yeah. I'm, te I'm technically nor just north of San Francisco. And are you? So, are you near therefore, you choose a team: Raiders or Niners. So Niners. Niners team? are technically when the Raiders were still here. Niners are farther away from my home than because they're not really in San Francisco. They're in Santa Clara, which is closer you, to San Jose. Are you close to Concord? No. Oh. <laughs> it's like an hour away. I don't know. I was Who's there. Before. Hockey was team? It's, it's Concord, by the way, not Concord. Is it Concord? Concord? No, it's, it's like Concord. Louisville. No, it's Louisville. See, you're you're wrong. Who's your mm. favorite hockey team in the area then? I'm not, I don't really have a team for you, hockey. You have to pick a team. Who's your favorite hockey team? Detroit Red Wings. What? That makes no well, sense. Yeah, it doesn't. I was just picking a team. That's good. I should have worn my Red Wings hat tonight. But you're close to the Sharks, right? Yeah, and you're right by the Boring. Camp. Boring. Come Whatever. on, Gretzky. Gretzky See, Crystal charge. Davis says, technically, the 49ers aren't in San Francisco that's anymore. What, that's why I just said. I was correcting you. Yeah, Crystal Davis. Everybody Charks. knows that. She likes the Sharks. She Crystal loves Davis. the Sharks. Crystal Davis needs a drink because we're saying Crystal Davis. Are we yeah. still playing that game from a year ago? Absolutely. Yeah. Crystal Davis. I'll Get drunk, Crystal Davis, my, Crystal Davis, my, Crystal Davis, Crystal Davis. I'll just drink some of my rowdy energy real quick while you say Crystal Davis. I'm gonna drink rowdy energy. This is NASCAR jet fuel. NASCAR jet fuel. It's my drink's empty. So what Whatever. else you got going on, Anthony Cardi, besides uh being an essential worker and uh beer competitions? You've been doing anything else? Uh just focusing on like my art and such, you know. Have you been putting it anywhere uh, fun? No one really knows about my art, bro. <laughs> well, this, is, yep. this is your chance to talk about it. Everybody's finding out now. Yeah. It's all illegal. 
No, it's not. It's only illegal if you get caught. That stuff back there. Oh yeah. Well, this is actually my friend's art. Oh, this is what? my art. This is my art. What's that to your uh, top right at the very top? The, this? Oh, no, keep top the other top side top then. Top. Your left. That guy. What's up with that guy? I like him. It's a, it's a collage. Why like is it, it so? Why is it so hard to do a reverse? Mo- I don't know. Isn't it weird? It's hard to do that. Yeah. I like it. It looks like a finger with a face, it looks like, a ghost. like this. Natalie thinks I, it looks I, like a ghost. I believe the. I don't remember what the title of, of it is exactly, but I believe it was a Native American uh, chief. It's name to it. I'm not sure why. I think they used his eyes for the collage. It's pretty cool. It's cool looking. I like it. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> Corey says. Wait, he does art. Yeah, he didn't even know. Yeah, I draw. Look at this. Josh Barefoot Brain says, "I would like to purchase some mm. Anthony Cardi art. I would also like to purchase some of your art. Mm. We have a whole art room in our house. So yeah, yeah. Every, everyone who actually wants to see my art, just private message me, and then I'll get you guys on some. Everybody, private message uh, Anthony Cardi a picture of your." Uh, genitalia and he'll be able to no. uh, whoa, whoa, <laughs> no, whoa. No. i thought that's what you wanted my my girlfriend would not appreciate everyone's genitalia coming to me well then don't show it to her <laughs> <laughs> uh, only guys andrew madsen wants to know when uh anthony's gonna challenge matt mcclear for the most balls in one beard world record honestly who, who's matt mcclear i'm not trying to be rude but I'm, it sounds familiar but i'm not sure who that is so he's our new guy he's the uh, host of beard laws he's the, oh Okay, so yeah. I do know I do know who you're talking about then. Okay. Yeah, so he put like do I still have the picture? He put like two hundred and eighty balls in his beard or something like that during Christmas. Not like men's balls. Yeah, that's what Anthony would do. So <laughs> ah dang, I deleted the picture. It was in yeah. here. Anyway, like the, the Christmas correct. tree balls. Like yeah. Like like Gl- like like yeah, why, like, you, why you have your why you have your mouth wide open while doing yeah, that? Yeah, what are you doing? I thought this was a kid-friendly show. Yeah, this is a kids program. Oh, yeah, I started it off real hard with Matt. Matt's real, mom. He, he started off real hard. <laughs> that's usually how it works. Yeah, that's usually how that works, Scott. Shut up, guys. <laughs> and then after the big completion, it just wasn't as hard to do anymore. Jesus Christ. Oh, anyway, my. let's get back on track <laughs> to this PG-rated <laughs> talk <laughs> show. Uh, yeah, so... The I mean, <laughs> So how did how did you land your uh, incredibly amazing title sponsor? How did that happen? I believe really, I just hit you up in the, the DMs. Actually, I, I think I was just t- chatting with your producer, your wife. <laughs> right, yeah. She said, I'm going to talk to Erin. And she basically made it happen. She did. She made so, it happen. So, yeah. I, I, give her, I give her the credit. Talking Beards presents the West Coast Classic. I like that. Yeah. So, Aaron, tell us. Why don't you guys tell us a little about bit about what's going to happen that day? Why don't you break oh, down? Yeah, yeah. We shouldn't down. talk about that, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All break right. So, down what's going to happen? The competition starts at ten. Every half hour will be a new post of, of a different category. But before that, we're going to have a pre-show that's going to start around nine, nine fifteen ish with our host, which hasn't been announced yet. Boyle Delmar, famous drag queen. Uh. And myself and whatnot, and where we'll be like running down the list, talking about the best in show, talking about how many competitors, how much we're raising so far, et cetera, et cetera. It'll be fun times. Uh, and then, so yeah, every category, thirty minutes, where you post your thirty second video and pictures replied to. It's pretty simple. It's actually the easiest that I've experienced. It is the guys. simplest yeah. uh, virtual competition that uh, I think is. It's definitely probably the easiest way. Yeah, we got uh, 16 categories. The, the, the regulars you'd see, kids, natural mustache, styled mustache. Some that you haven't seen at every category or every competition. It wasn't even at nationals this year. Is the Fu Manchu. Fu so, Manchu. Yeah. And you're going to have men's craft. Oh, yeah. And, and craft freestyle. Yep. That is the most amazing, wonderful uh, new category that I think the uh, online beard competition world has developed. And uh, I look forward to that when, when we go back live for that to be a new thing. I think it's super cool. I really am hoping to see somebody outdo me. 
Well, uh, it could happen, you know, yeah, you I know, know. And, and I want it to happen, honestly. Yeah. I, I, so you won best in show with your men's craft beard. Mm-hmm. What for a uh, glanders event? You did that was uh, the first time that, that, that uh, category was ever offered. So ever. So ever. yeah, you did a whole freestyle yeah. and then you incorporated like my, my beard into the craft beard. So it was like a whiskerina and I put my beard into it also. I think and, it was uh, awesome. And I think the funny part was I was just laughing the whole time. Because usually I do creepy stuff with my beard or weird, extremely weird. And then here I am doing a, a Zen garden of sorts. I liked it. Koi pond. Yeah. So um, after, so you're going to run through all your categories in like 30 minute intervals. Yep. Uh, they'll be judged off screen. And yep. then what a couple hours or maybe an hour or whatever. Uh, we'll, well, we're going to say an hour afterwards. I think we could get it all put together. So an hour. hour after we're going to go live on the talking beards network to do a result show. Yep. And it'll be Cardi Scott and Sean Glander for big, sexy Saturday night. Uh, yeah. So we'll do, you know, whatever eight o'clock ish. We'll come up with the time and we'll let everybody know, but we're going to do a result show. And that's the way that, you know, everybody's going to find out who wins the West coast classic. I think it, it just, it's fitting with talking beards being involved and yeah. And, that, maybe that can, and we'll, we'll be more than happy to help out any club that's doing these virtual competitions. We'll, we'll do result result show for all of them. We don't care. I mean, yeah. Glander's already doing a show on Saturday and just gives us a reason to go live on Saturday and gives us content. So it's yeah, gonna give you a wider audience as well. Cause the normal Absolutely. people that might not be tuning in are going to tune in just to see if I they think want or not. I think it's just the best thing, and and I've already said it. And it, all of us just help each other out, like the whole mentality, one team, one fight, and that's that's kind of been our whole mentality for the 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 network. And I think it's better if we all just work together and keep this whole thing alive, and and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a results show for the West Coast Classic, and it's gonna be the best results show ever in 2021. Yeah. All right. sure. The if, best online competition. At the bottom of the screen, we have the PayPal beards by the bay at gmail.com, correct? Yep. yep. And uh so yeah, send uh your name or the competitor's name, wh- whatever you want to donate, and uh whatever categories you want to be entered into, put in there. And if you're donating enough to get one of those sign-up bonuses for the rest of this week, uh put your address and so I can send it to you. What is the Thank cutoff you. for the sign-in bonus? The sign-in bonus is when I post the password the code word which is gonna be saturday so saturday so make sure mm-hmm. you guys get your your uh <clears throat> your entries into anthony by saturday so you can take uh part in getting the bonuses at the different levels and uh make sure you get signed up for this competition is there any categories that you're really looking for people in well let's see oh well, uh, of the 16 categories yeah. we only have five filled up meaning three or more uh, so we, we really need mustaches of all types, with the, be it the natural, natural, the style, or the Fu Manchu. We need freestylers, it's just, it's really, and craft freestylers, and whiskerinas. So everything that's like like a non natural category, the, the the creative categories, and then the na- and then the mustaches. Well, we know we- all the whole beard, whole beard scene. Everybody waits to the last minute, so. Yeah, and that's and that's why I'm trying to get the sign-in bonuses beforehand because I know waiting to the last minute is cool and all because you're like, oh, element of surprise. But in reality, it's just putting a lot more work on a very small, uh, absolutely COVID restrained team because uh, not only do we have to get the money, make record of it, uh, write your name down, write your address down. Uh, we got to put you into the spreadsheet, and if we have like 50 people morning of that, we have to do that. That's going to really suck. So I'm hoping that yeah. You guys can do that before the last minute. Yeah, like like we said earlier, we know everyone is always waiting to the last minute, and that's been our experience too. Everyone waits to the mm-hmm. last minute. Let's try to get everything. You know, let's get people. If you're thinking about doing it, you know, try to get your stuff in. I mean, like you said, by this weekend because you guys will get really cool sign bonuses uh, for signing in this weekend. Mm-hmm. You know, because then it just it kind of gives the back door part of the whole event you know, time to work on things and getting everything right. Instead of it being like a rush that day backstage, not back door, but yeah, that's right. <laughs> but <I'm not> sure. <laughs> <laughs> what is the latest people can submit their video? Oh, well the, the, the video submission is going to be in that time slot uh, before the, by the end of that, that time slot is going. So for instance, like if you did a call at 
11 o'clock for partial beards mm-hmm. and between 11 and, or sorry, 11 and 1130, they would submit their. Yeah. Video. Between that time frame. All right. That's yeah. it. So you can record your video a week in advance because we're yeah, giving out the code word. You yeah. can make a hundred cuts of it and you can get it all figured out. But mm-hmm. 11 o'clock when your category is called or whatever time, that's specific, when you post your video. Specific standard time. Specific standard time. Specific. Yeah. Specific. You're, you're, mm-hmm. you're yep. mispronouncing. I am being yourself. specific, yes. Yeah, so, specific all right. Time. Well, <laughs> thank you, Anthony Cardi. Um, be on the lookout for all of the cool posts and everybody just keep up on the 2021 West Coast Classic event mm-hmm. page and all the news and information will be there all in one convenient location. That's true. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So thank you, Anthony. We appreciate you stopping by tonight. And uh, we will see you live um, on the 23rd. Yes. Oh, thanks, guys. All right, buddy. All right. Have a good night. All right. See you guys soon. Okay, oh, bye. Okay, oh, bye. We did it. Did we, though? Kind of. 823. We can get through some of it. So now this is the moment in the show where we present to you the BS Buttons Beard Bulletin Board. It is the bulletin board for you, the beard community, to post anything that you want for us to talk about live on Talking Beards. And uh, yeah, that's about it. It's uh, the BS Buttons Beard Bulletin Board. I'm really excited for Anthony's competition. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be really good, man. I'm excited that... Uh, we all kind of work together and we're going to do a result show for it. I think that's a cool little new aspect. Um, yeah, I think it's going to go well. He he doesn't mess around and he he wants to do a good job. Yeah, he does. He loves right. his community and everything about it. So he he's going to do a good job. All right. So the first post is from a friend of ours, Brian Coyne. Re- refresh the page. I did already. Why is I'm it not at the top? I, I just refreshed it like a um, but. Two minutes ago. So unless something was just posted. Sad. I posted something, but it's not there. That's fine. Go ahead. All right. Brian Coyne posted. Uh, so one of our good friends in the bearding community who's been around for a long time. Uh, I've spent many of fun moments with him at different competitions, judged competitions with them. Just a great all around guy. But uh, Stephen Casper is going to be shaving his chops off uh, for uh, to raise money for the Ohio Fair Housing Initiative. So if you want to win a chance to be the person to shave the beard off, you have to buy your tickets by noon on January 20th. This is exciting. Yeah, so there is a uh, a link at the bottom right here, the ohiorealtors.wufo.com. Then there's a whole bunch of other crap there. Just um, click it. Uh, just click Not it. Not you. I'm just oh, saying yeah. the people. The people. Yeah, go over to the BS button bulletin board and click it. So if you want to take part in that, that's really cool. That's awesome. I want to do it. I want to shave the chops off. You talk about this. This is your Southern people down here, Aaron. Uh, I did not read it. Um, Hold on. Let me. All right. All right. Hold on. I got it. There we go. Yes. Come on, y'all. Join the best region in Beard Mob. Join the Southeast region and make a difference in your community and across the world. So, yeah, this is uh, who Fawn posted it. Christine M. Algaretti. Beard Mob Southeast, get involved today and help us change. So the, I know there's chapters in Florida, Georgia, South Carolina. I guess all, all the states have their own chapter. I didn't know there was a Tennessee Beard Mob, but apparently there is. So just anybody in the Southeast, if you want to be involved in the beer community, uh, find the Beard Mob. Check them out. And, uh, they do lots of good stuff all over the place. So check them out. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, Aaron. Uh-oh. Holding. Hold formation. Hold formation. So, yeah. Um, speaking of the Beard Mob, uh, there's going to be a live competition on January 23rd. Look at that. Uh, one of the many uh, sponsors for the swag bags and all the other events that's going to be happening. Uh, Firehouse Mustache Wax is going to be uh, giving all the mustache competitors some wax. And all the leftovers that they send will go in the swag bags. So, Probably not all the swag bags will have firehouse stuff in it, but some will. Here, this is what you wanted. That's what I wanted. So everybody, if if you have an hour to just absolutely just be amazed with the most amazing uh, interview 
of all time. Uh, yeah, I was interviewed by a psychologist in India um, <laughs> Monday at like 1030 a.m. It was nine o'clock her time p.m. And I had no idea what I was getting myself into. And I knew uh, what I got myself into. And what I took away from this interview was I learned that I brush my beard for me. Absolutely. And Not everything you do should be for you and feel good within and beards are power and uh, they make you a man and they're natural and everybody should grow a beard and uh, do what makes you happy. Don't, do what makes you happy. Don't let people tell you what to do. Do what makes you happy. Brush yeah. your own beard for you. So, yeah, it was a very interesting interview. Uh, I already told Scott this. I watched it back and and i just felt sorry for the person she was interviewing and it was me um i just didn't know what to say <laughs> um at all i didn't know like she would she would ask a question that was this long and she would put it in a format this long and by the time she got to the end of the format i forgot what the initial question was yeah and the and the 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 uh language barrier was extremely difficult too so yeah she couldn't understand me because i was from the south that's what andrew madsen said yeah uh christina algaretti posts uh post about the beard bob florida presents beards for the brave three uh and here are all the different categories that are going to be represented at this event that's along right with who is sponsoring each category so yeah, so she sold individual sponsors per category, and then there'll be overall sponsors. And obviously, this entire event was uh, sponsored by Honest Amish, like it has been the past couple of years. And every winner will receive some Honest Amish, and every category will receive something from each individual category sponsor. Carrie Molinari says, can I have your attention, please? As he's Bow and arrow. Molin, sorry. Molinero, my bad. I feel sorry. It's full now, Nat per Natalie D. Johnston. So if you you did you have a mustache, you missed out if you're not All already right. participating. Still go around and try to ride your unicycle. I've been enjoying those videos. Everyone, ride your unicycle. Now here it is. Beard right, Mob Florida. This is gonna be our guest for next week. Christine M. Algaretti. We're having uh, her on again. She <laughs> like her 15th. It's 15th Apparently. time on the show. So, yeah, wow. she will be our guest next week on Talking Beards. And she will talk all about Beard Mob Florida presents Beard for the Brave. She's so busy. Anthony busy. Cardi, Anthony Cardi posts four to eight beards. Where are you at? Sign up. If you guys are in the four to eight inches, let's go over to Beards by the Bay. You guys can sign up by going just as the bottom right there at the screen. PayPal, go to beardsbythebay at gmail.com. Uh, you can PayPal. Uh, PayPal um, there and make sure you put what category you want to be in and your name and your address. Make sure you go over and do it before this weekend so you can get uh, some of the cool different uh, items right. that he's giving away. All kinds of cool stuff. Yeah, so Josh Bethel, uh, this is the first two episodes in the books. Kevin Hansen and I, Josh Bethel, had a lot of fun at the end of the day and that's all that matters. Hope you enjoy it. So he uh, did a couple episodes. What they do, they draw like a name out of the hat, or you know, last minute they come up with a a uh, a topic, and then they paint it for whatever the the time it takes for them to paint it, and they talk and do a little live show, and it's super cool, man. They they do a good job over there, and Josh Bethel is an amazing artist, and make sure everybody goes checks out uh, Room Green Productions and dot com. Uh, dot com and check out his art. Ryan wants still wants to know if anyone's on the uh, market for they want a new product. We talked about this one last time. That's it. Um, Breaking break news. news. That's nope. it. I'll be emceeing the event on uh, January twenty third in Valrico, Florida. So if you would like to go to a live event and it's you're just you know itching to get out and go see some people and. You know, you wear your mask or whatever you need to do to make yourself feel comfortable. I will be emceeing this bad boy and it'll be super fun. All right. Another uh, post for Anthony Cardi's competition. Um, Let's see what else. Talking beard. Oh, the RVA cash mob Um, to benefit who? 
uh, the world of mirth. You moron, I knew that's what you were doing. <laughs> so yeah, go check out this event. It's it's a it's a cool idea. So uh, what is it? This Saturday, uh, they want everybody to go to the world of mirth and just you know they're they're a locally owned shop there in Richmond, Virginia. They've been a a big fan and helper and sponsor of RVA and and just go bombard their shop and just buy stuff and help them out. So well, yeah, gift cards or whatever. Who are they trying to help again? The world of mirth. That's mirth. That's mirth. Anyway. RVA Beard League Cash Mob. Craig out. Oh my God. OMG. He got a mic and a better, you know, camera. And he's he's all pimped out for a big sexy Saturday night. Look, Look at, at that. that. There he is. So make sure you guys go over and check out Glander. Saturday nights. Uh, what is the time? 6 p.m. Eastern? What, for Big Sexy? Yeah. 8 to 9, Saturday night. It's a Big Sexy Saturday night. And then right after we have, uh, let me get the little marquee up. We have the least we could do from 9 until 11. So, you know, all week we've got some shows. Where the heck is this freaking thing? There it is. There we go. Whoop. So, yeah, Talking Beers, the network. Monday night, we have the Craft Whisker show, a uh, Craft Whisker build off show every other Monday, last Monday. So, next Monday will be a show, right? Looking at you, Natalie. Yeah. Next Monday, you have a show. So, Tuesday, Talking Beards. Um, and also, after Talking Beards, it's not necessarily on our network, but if you would like, if you just need more content, you can go over to Beard Law's page and he's doing TikTok Tuesday after our show. Uh, Wednesday night, we have What Up Mob Wednesday. It's Monty and Boo's three hour extravaganza of a, a beard show. Um, just shooting, shooting the shit. Uh, Monty and Boo. Beard Laws, Thursday night. Uh, F It Friday. Um, that's that's where, you know, talking poop and uh, maybe the Aaron and Natalie show or whatever. All kinds of other stuff could live, but, you know. Not not lately, but it's coming up again. Uh, Big Sexy Saturday Night, like we talked about, 8 to 9 Eastern. And then from 9 to 11, uh, the least we could do. It's Dwayne, Jimmy, and Kyle down there in Austin, Texas. Just, what? <laughs> yeah, so they're, they're just doing their thing down there in Texas. So hey, yeah, check them out. Um, Saturday is just full of uh, bearded content. Um, they might necessarily not necessarily be talking about beards, but they've got beards. And um, the least we, we could do is going to be giving away a poop knife this weekend. So go ahead and check them out if you would like a poop knife. Also, if you'd like a poop knife, come to Valrica, Florida, January 23rd. Win your category and you, too, could win a poop knife. You, too, is going to be there. That's right. Well, they're the going to put, their, they're gonna put their album on your phone without your consent. That's yes, what he does. So that's, that's it, everybody. Uh, thank you for tuning in. This has been another exciting, uh, fantastic episode of Talking Beards. Um, hopefully, mirth. <laughs> hopefully, everybody learned something and uh, enjoyed the the episode. Um, Thank you, everybody in podcast world that's listening to us. Hopefully, all this translated over to the audio listening folks. Oh, and if, and if you know if you're listening to it and you want to see some of the stuff that's going on, go to talkingbeards.com. And there we are. There's a live video. Um, so yeah, thank you everybody for tuning in tonight. Thank you for uh, just watching us and staying connected. You know and. Uh, Everybody that's participated in the show helped us out. Uh, Andrew for making our our uh, our art as as he usual does, and thank you everybody for watching us. Um, Aaron D. Johnson, that's it. Go ahead. And I'm Scott Sakura. Uh, yeah, thank you, Andrew, very much for all your help. I mean, he helped me out this past weekend working on some behind the scene projects that we are constructing right now, which will be released on the 200th episode of the podcast, which is another milestone we're going to be hitting here. Uh, just as we hit the 100th episode of uh, the Talking Beards uh, live stream show, uh, we're going to be doing some cool stuff. Uh, we're going to be really opening up the world of Talking Beards uh, when we get in uh, another 22 episodes of the podcast. So make sure you got new stuff coming up. Lot, yeah, a lot of cool stuff. <clears throat> um, yeah, but 
if you guys uh, want to go check out more information about us, like I said, we can go go over and find us on Facebook, YouTube, uh, Periscope, Twitter, and Twitch. Um, but go over to talkingbeards.com over there. You can subscribe to the podcast. It's real easy. You can listen to old episodes of the podcast. You can actually watch old versions and videos of any of the old shows that we've done over the past few years. Uh, it's all real there, easy to get to, archived and nice and streamlined and cute and pretty. And, you know, you know all, the so ladies, pretty. all the ladies love it. But, uh, yeah, so we thank everyone for uh, checking the show out tonight. Thank you, Anthony, for coming and checking us out. Don't forget to tune in for Christina Algaretti, Beards for the Brave 3, next. M. M. Algaretti. Oh, sorry, M. Really? Where's your C, Scott C. Sakura. You took your C out of your name. I did. I always take the C out of me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, make sure you tune in next week. And between now and then, uh, everyone have a great week. Go check mm-hmm. out all the other shows that are going on uh, the rest of the week over at the Talking Beers Network. You can find all of those by going over to our Facebook page. Just follow uh, Talking Beards and you can watch them or go to any of the individual shows pages, like them, follow them. And uh, just uh, communicate with the uh, uh, community and that's right. All we can do right now, just uh, this is the best way we can stay in touch with everyone and let everyone know what's going on in the world until it all changes. And then we'll go back to uh, having more of a <clears throat> different style show than, you know, it being all about online stuff. So that's it. That being said, make sure you guys go share the show. Whoever shares the show the most, this episode will win a poop knife compliments of original poop knife.com. Don't forget to go check out uh, honestamish.com. And if you guys are in the mood for a new energy drink, rowdy energy, hold on. Let me go full screen here. Rowdy baby. Scott's NASCAR, got jet, his. NASCAR jet fuel. Woohoo. <laughs> Kyle Bush, Kyle Bush all the way. That's right. So thank you everybody for tuning in. Uh, find West Coast Classic on Facebook, their event page, and all that good stuff. We're finally signing off. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. And okay, bye. 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 Roll Tide. Roll. Yeah, shut up. Go Browns. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode of the Talking Beards podcast. You can find out more information by going to talkingbeards.com. There you can subscribe to the podcast, make a donation to our show, or pick up some really cool Talking Beards merchandise. We hope to see you in the chat room. You can find us over at facebook.com slash Talking Beards if you want to participate in our chat. Thank you again for checking the show out, and we hope you have a great week. Make sure you come back next week at 8 p.m. on Tuesday evening to watch the show live. Until next time, thanks. Thanks.